the other survival thriller that uh, opens this Friday, but it had a sneak preview last night, was Captain Phillips. I found out about Ooh. it at 7 o'clock. It started at 7.30. And I was like, oh, hell, let me hurry up and buy my ticket and race over there. Mm-hmm. It was like a re- really last-minute thing for me. Dean, I know you saw it. Jerry, did you see it last yeah. night? Yes, I did, and I'll say this. I had to sit in the front row. It was that kind of last oh, wow. thing. I didn't mind it, though. No, I didn't mind it. It was good. I mean, but they put it, you know, they put it in the smallest theater, and I was just like, really, guys? You, you, I mean, I wanted to say you really couldn't take Insidious out of that one, and, and you, couldn't put, you couldn't put that in you know, it, really? Okay, thanks, guys. You really thanks for coming in for the home team here. Um, yeah, I love. I thought it was. Inc- I actually thought it it showed all of Paul Greengrass's strengths as a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. I really did. That Green Zone didn't, you know, for that matter. I mean, the previous film, so definitely not. <laughs> Uh, I I would agree. I mean, just uh, again, you know, funny, kind of an interesting movie to see after seeing Gravity, but because uh, uh, they deal with a lot of the same things. But um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it had all of those. It had oh god, I mean, it had all that stuff that uh, you know his best film, you know, ninety three had. Um, uh, you know, great performances, a real sense of you're really right there in it, and. Um, and sort of that that military aspect of it, mm-hmm. and trying to come in and solve problems, and, um, and or uh, and just uh, uh, you know great, at least two really great performances in it. You know, not just Tom Hanks, but uh, the lead the lead pirate uh, uh, Abdi uh, uh, Arkad Abdi. Mm-hmm. I mean, he just keeps up with with Hanks just every step of the way. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, just. Yeah, oh, no, no, definitely. Absolutely a great supporting performance. He's definitely in there for the Supporting Actor Oscar this year. I mean, like, at least in the talk and the running. But, um, but yeah, extremely exciting. Very, uh, you know, I, I didn't really like the opening scenes with him going to the airport with Keener or whatever, but uh, but it improved greatly after that. I mean, I, I I adored it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was fantastically intense. It's you know, it's two hours and fifteen minutes. It's a uh, and it just uh, builds and builds and builds and builds to this like almost unbearable pitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, which reminded me a lot of the climax of United ninety three, and and you feel the same sense of underscore that kind of builds yeah. and builds and builds until you're mm-hmm. like completely frayed. And then the movie has the great sense because uh, this entire performance of Tom Hanks, I thought, okay, this is one of those movie star performances where you just you need someone that you you feel completely comfortable with and empathetic with in the center of the movie. But I I mean I, I didn't see any there weren't any kind of showboaty moments in it. Uh, no, no it, none at all. None. So he 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 was just like a, a stabilizing kind of force. But then the movie has a great sense to end the last scene of the movie. And everybody knows that knows the real life story, knows that Captain Phillips survived. Is is him like experiencing the trauma of that event? I think it's the best depiction of 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 tra- trauma that I've ever seen. Oh, on yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh-huh. I mean, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then the I, movie I thought, the movie has yeah. the sense to end it right there, and so you're left like, ha. Ah, you're left with the release that the film builds up to for two hours and fifteen minutes, and then it ends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was superb. I mean, uh, the screenplay was was uh, you know Billy Ray's screenplay was just right on the money there. You know mm-hmm. the structure of it and everything. It was just it was just perfect. You know, uh, uh, the, and the and the depiction of the of the of the pirates too was. I thought eminently fair, and um, uh, you know uh, they were kind of a real motley crew of. of oh yeah, uh, they were. But, I mean, you know, but he's good at this. He's always been good at this depicting, like United ninety three, or even in his in at least the earliest film I've seen by him is Bloody Sunday. Um, yeah, you know he's he's really good at these. Right. I mean, he. I mean, he did wonders with the. I think the two Born movies he did. He took those to new heights. But he is very good at taking stories that you know, and keeping you actively engaged and on the edge of your seat. Really, I mean, you. You know, 
I mean, this is, we know how this ends, but still, I mean, it's still very exciting. You're, it's very white knuckle, you know, biting your fingernails kind of um, suspense. I mean, yeah. and, and it was just, and it's just, it's a completely fascinating dynamic to see Hanks and, and, and the gentleman that plays the lead pirate right. uh, share, share scenes together because it's a complete study in, in contrast, and I think that's what the movie is too. I mean, they come from two terribly different cultures. They have different motivations, mm-hmm. and they clash. They clash in the movie, but you also see how the lead pirate respects Captain Phillips. is is right. actually is actually quite considerate and kind to him for much of the movie, mm-hmm. and he loves America. I mean, he's always dreamt of going to America. Right. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a fascinating character. The way they draw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah with uh, mm-hmm. with. With you know that that underscores the difficulty of living life in in his home country of Somalia, where they kind of uh, you know force guys like him to go and fight for a, a warlord or something that they might not really want to do. They're kind of forced into it, so it's like yeah. you know, he doesn't really, it, those guys those guys really don't have a lot of choices, you know, and that's that's what. That's one of the reasons they're doing what they're doing in some ways, you know. It's kind of a kind of a desperation move, and uh, so so the the movie is filled with that kind of desperation on both sides. 